In this video, I'll go over setting up PyHole and Unbound using Docker Compose. With Docker Compose, configuring PyHole and Unbound Docker containers, along with custom network settings I'd like to include in the setup, are defined in a YAML file that is used to spin everything up with a single command. For this video, the configuration that we'll be setting up will be the same as what I went through in my PyHole with Unbound video, which references my PyHole Docker video as well. I'd encourage you to check out both of those videos for some background, and I'll link to both in the description below. For a quick summary of the configuration, we'll run PyHole and Unbound in two separate containers. We'll create a slash 30 Mac VLAN network, which provides two IP addresses, which will be assigned to each of the containers. We'll also create a slash 32 custom bridge network that provides one IP address to be assigned to the PyHole container. Also, if you did set up PyHole with Unbound following my previous video, this setup resolves the issue where Unbound may start up prior to PyHole, causing the Mac VLAN IP addresses to switch between the two containers, causing problems with the setup. We'll also make use of Git and reference a GitHub repository that I put together to go along with this video. In the repository, I share a Docker Compose YAML file that will make the setup of PyHole and Unbound on your Synology NAS simple and straightforward. As prerequisites, we'll need to install both the Docker and Git server packages from the Package Center, which I've already installed in my setup. Make sure to install those packages in your setup before proceeding on. We'll also need to enable SSH by bringing up Control Panel, Terminal, and SNMP. Check the box to enable the SSH service, then click Apply, and finally OK on this pop-up warning window. Now I'll SSH into my Synology NAS to make use of Git and Docker Compose, and I'll be referencing the steps that I documented in the GitHub repository that I mentioned earlier, which you can see listed here on screen, and I'll also link to this web page in the description below. Once connected through SSH, I'll change directory to the slash volume one slash Docker directory that was created when the Docker package was installed. I'll then issue this git clone command to clone the git repository that was set up for this video. Next, I'll change directory into the newly created synology-docker-pyhole-unbound directory and run these mkdir commands to create volume mount points that will be used by the pyhole container. Now I'll edit the .env file which displays the settings that I used in my environment. These are just placeholder settings and you'll need to change these to what you would like to use in your setup. This includes the Mac VLAN and custom bridge networks that the containers will be using. You'll then need to assign the allocated IP addresses from those networks to the PyHole and Unbound containers. Enter in the password you would like to use to log into the PyHole admin web interface. And include the network interface used by your Synology NAS to access your LAN. Once you are done editing the file, save the changes, and if we look at the Docker Compose YAML file, we can see how the entries in the .env file are used. Basically, the entries are substituted in as environmental variables that are passed into the Docker Compose YAML file in the appropriate locations. We can also see how the PyHole and Unbound containers are configured, along with the setup for the Mac VLAN and custom bridge networks. Now everything should be set up, so I'll run the sudo docker-compose up-d command to create and start the PyHole and Unbound containers, as well as the Mac VLAN and custom bridge networks. Once everything is running, I'm able to bring up the PyHole web interface by connecting to the Mac VLAN IP address assigned to the PyHole container, as well as log in to the PyHole admin interface with the password that was assigned in the .env file. Also, on my MacBook, I'm able to do a DNS lookup using the dig command where I can use either the PyHole Mac VLAN IP address or the Unbound Mac VLAN IP address as the name servers use to run the query. 
I can also confirm that the custom bridge network was set up correctly by switching back to the Synology NAS SSH connection and run a DNS lookup using NSLOOKUP and the custom bridge network IP address, which looks to be working fine as well. If everything checks out, at this point, you should be able to start assigning the PyHole MacVLAN network IP address to your client's or DHCP server, as well as assign the PyHole bridge network IP address to your Synology NAS as its DNS server. Hopefully this setup worked out for you, and if you have any questions, leave a comment in the description below. Also, make sure to check out the videos listed here on screen, both as a reference and for details about the setup we just went through in this video as well. Lastly, consider supporting my work by checking out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.